Hey everyone, this is Buzzword and welcome back to another game of RTS Siege Up. Today uh, we're doing some beta testing for the multiplayer of this game. And so at the moment we can see the new user interface with the blue um, background on some of these uh, UI elements. And I am player at the moment and I'm connected as um, Fnatic Jogger as well on my phone. So I'm playing on my computer and my uh, phone just for testing purposes and we're going to play against this bot um so there is a bit of a delay when um i was trying to change the, the teams there um the other feature we can check is the chat so um i'm just going to say hi and on my phone i'm just going to reply as well so um as you can see there's like a red dot on this message icon and I can see my message from my phone that I sent to myself there. Um, so when I... Uh, to start the game both players have to press the ready button. So I'm the host on this PC at the moment so I'm going to click ready on my phone which is uh, shown now as a green highlight there and I'm going to press ready on my um, PC as well. Alright, so we're starting. Okay, so there was a bit of an issue, but that's okay. We both connected. So I am connected on my phone and my um, uh, PC as well. Okay, so this is good. Um, you can see on the minimap here that the uh, our opponent will actually my ally, which is green myself, is also, um, I can see their vision. So, you will also notice that we have a new unit here, um, it is a mage healer, and we're going to try and um, get this unit out and test uh, his combat ability. So I think there is another new unit in the game as well, which is going to be the battering ram. Um, I'm just going to try and do that. So, as you can see, the uh, UI, we have the chat window, which is similar to how the um, the chat window in the lobby works. So, on my phone, I would see a red dot is there. Red dot is at the icon as well. Um, I'm just gonna uh, sell some wood, get some food. So we can see that there is an extra unit here. We have the battering ram, um, along with the ballista and the catapult, which were the old units. So this battering ram, I think, is meant to be good for uh, walls and, I suppose, buildings in general. Um, we'll go and test it out on blue, uh, and of course, we'll get this uh, new unit as well. He is a bit uh, expensive, like 80 gold. So that's actually more than the gold of any unit really. Um, so I, I'm not sure if that's really the final price of that unit. Um, this is still a test version of the game so we'll see. It's very expensive. Um, I'll have to sell a lot of wood to get that unit. Like literally sold all my wood and I still don't have enough. Alright there we go. Jeez, I hope it, <laughs> this guy dies easily. I'm not gonna bother using him again. But um, yeah. Uh, we should get a farm to get some food. All right, let's get this uh, mage healer. He's very quick to train. So there he is. He has. He's actually very low health, um, 180 health, and he does 20 damage, and um, yeah, compared to this battering ram, this is heaps. So it does 10 damage to units and 30 damage to uh, buildings. Um, I'm going to get some more units actually because we kind of 
don't want to just use these two units to attack. Okay, well, we're being attacked already, um, so it's not great. We should just get a tower to defend um, for the time being. So I'm just going to move my bearing ram back and move my mage back also. <laughs> so it is kind of funny, like you're seeing this bearing ram trying to hit these archers and stuff. So if it is like an AoE attack, you can see that the like all these archers are getting hit by this battering ram. Which is actually kind of funny, like <laughs> considering that we're all getting hit at the same time. Alright, let's get some archers out. Enemies too close. Right. Let's try this over here then. Never mind, I guess. Um, I'll just have to keep rely on this farm. I suppose. Or maybe I just need to delete this. There we go. Um, we'll need a fishing boat to get more food easier. Um, so I'm just going to quickly go on my phone and start playing on that. Oh, never mind. Okay. Oh, so there's a new attack sound, uh, attack notification there. So you see the mini map actually went up. Uh, and. We could see that we were being attacked by the ship here. I'm just gonna try and run my units across actually. So the Baron Ram is actually quite slow. Um, yeah. I'll go and attack this uh, archery range and see how long it takes to destroy it. So it does, it does do quite a decent amount of damage. Um, I'll go use this mage and... Uh, hmm. So I'm not sure if that mage was like trying to heal at the moment, but... Uh, he didn't really do much. Let's see if it, let's see this mage attack. So I think he's literally a healing unit. Um, we'll try and test that out again. Okay, um, we'll see if we can heal this guy up with... Okay, let's get a mage. Alright, let's see if he can heal our um, guy over here. So, I'm not sure what this mage unit is meant to do here, because he's not healing anything. Um, yeah. So anyway, that's a bit of a puzzle, but... Um, that's about it. Um, strangely, we can see that um, there's units moving within the fog of war. I think this is a bit of a mistake, um, just because we actually don't have vision of the units. Um, I think it's fine to have vision of the buildings that we've seen, but like, uh, we, we actually see that there's units coming over the bridge and stuff like that. Um, I don't think that should be the case. Um, so yeah. That is the preview of the multiplayer, and if you're new, please subscribe and leave a like, and I'll see you in the next one.